Again, welcome everyone to the um, Austrotech uh, PM talk, um, launching your PM project management career and certifications. Um, it will make perfect sense to sort of maybe kickstart this session, providing an overview of the Austrotech, um, not well, we have a project management uh, course, but give, provide you an overview of the project ma of project management as a career area that is that's got prospects that can be beneficial to you starting a career and having that life changing uh, step made. Um, so just really kicking it off, I think the first thing I want to do is very quickly provide insight into what a project is. Um, I'm not going to throw it at us. I will just sort of go straight into it. I think in some shape or form, we have snippets of definitions for what a project is. But, and we all directly or indirectly embark on projects every day. For example, that your kitchen, kitchen, extension, kitchen uh, refurbishment is a mini project, the conservatory as an extension to your home um, that you had is a mini project. So you sort of thought about that need, you had that requirement. You also thought about um, really engaging vendors in the market to sort of understand what the cost of such a conservatory as you would need will be. You had clear understanding of what you wanted in terms of that extension, and you defined it to vendors, suppliers, and against that, they came with a, with a cost proposition to you. That cost pro proposition helped you think about what you had in terms of budget, whether it was going to be um, sufficient or not. And against that, what did you do? You basically signed up the vendor that sort of was going to best meet your requirement. You're, so you see that old step of engaging someone driven by a need that you wanted met um, to sort of deliver a new change in your home to meet that requirement for space or additional capacity that you had is in itself a project. So when we look at it properly, a project then is just a temporary arrangement. It is time bound. It will have a defined start, a defined finish, and it won't run infinitely. It is always there to deliver a, a unique product or service. So usually one or more. So for the example we just used, it was your converse conservatory. And it could have been that kitchen refurbish refurbishment or replacement that you are going to embark on for your family. But think about it in the modern world and for businesses, it could be anything from Maybe for manufacturing sectors that produce cars, it would be a prototype, prototype of a car. It could be the, a new house for construction sector organizations. It could be an upgrade to an existing technology. Maybe in telecoms, they're upgrading from 4G to 5G. Uh, it could be uh, the introduction of a totally new technology. So the key thing is that a project would deliver one or more business uh, products or services, and this could be tangible or intangible, as the case may be. Um, or whatever you deliver, you deliver according to a business case. There will always be a business case. That business case is your rationale. That business case is your justification. Okay, so if we sort of summarize it very quickly, we're saying the project is a temporary organization. It has a defined start, a defined finish. It will deliver one or more business uh, products or services. The products or services can be tangible or intangible, and you deliver those products or services to a business case, uh, which is your justification or rationale. Please keep pushing this, extending to your network. Let people know you don't want them to miss out. There's valuable information I'll be sharing as part of this process. And there are going to be loads of success stories you're going to be listening to today to sort of encourage you kickstart that journey if you've not already made a decision. So I think the next big question then is what is project management? So Project management based on the definition of a project that we just had is the planning. You will plan, you will delegate to someone. It could be a vendor. It could be a team of technical practitioners. It could be a team of subject matter experts who are knowledgeable in the area you want to deliver this project in. And then once you kickstart a project and you sort of set off on that journey to deliver that new product or service, what you want to do is monitor, you want to sort of control, you want to ensure your project delivery is not jeopardized. You want to sort of ensure the team that will be working on your project are also motivated. And then to achieve all of the objectives that you've got for performance around uh, your time objectives in terms of the duration for that 
project you want to deliver. There will be some cost objective that you've got. There's going to be the scope in terms of what you want to deliver. Um, you are clear around it, what you want delivered, what it should look like. And these three, time, cost, scope, really pretty much in project management terms, define what we call uh, the project management triple, triple constraints or iron triangle. But when you sort of move past this prince two, which is project in a controlled environment, uh, which is the method we adopt for delivering projects in the UK, it's universal as well. It's a key certification that professionals in project management are required to have. Um, as also identified three other additional performance targets, which will include benefits, it will include quality and of course risk. And the whole idea with risk, for example, is to ensure we deliver a project to in a controlled fashion to minimum risk exposures, whether they are positive or uh, negative risk, you want to sort of control them and have a good hang. But just to summarize, we're saying project management then is the planning, delegating, monitoring, uh, control, of all aspects of the project. It includes the motivation of all of those involved to achieve the project objectives um, within the expected performance targets for time, for cost, for scope, for benefits, for quality, and then for risk. So I'm going to move on. The people who work in project management are project management professionals, and they will range, they will sort of operate at different levels and different roles um, that we're going to be looking at shortly. Um, so I think the big question is why pursue a project management career? I, I, and I think this is something that is going to help someone on this call today to make a decision around starting that project management career and taking a, a positive step to sort of launch it. Um, and hopefully we'll be there to sort of support you. You can reach out to us um, at Astrotech and we can support you on that journey. So to sort of um, ju just cut, um, just progress this and really uh, get on the with the uh, reasons you want to leverage um, um, range of skills that you already have. So what you have in project management is that there are, there are skills that a project manager is meant to have, but you see a lot of them are skills you already have, and a lot of them will refine as part of training, we refine as part of mentoring, so it leverages a wide range of reusable skill sets, and they are soft skills, they are technical skills. Now, don't think project management, because we've given IT examples, is all IT, IT, technical, technical, technical. Again, everyone, please nod your friends, family, loved ones, keep pushing this, let people join, they need the information we're sharing today. So project management leverages those skills. It's your negotiation skills, it's your team working skills, it's your uh, collaboration skills, it's your people skills, attitudinal skills. I always like to put it this way. There is no point getting someone in a team as a project management professional who has a stinking attitude. Attitude matters. And so you want to get people with the right personality, with the right uh, attitudinal skills to work in your team so that they can foster collaboration and alignment and focus, ensure they have the right energy to progress within your uh, project uh, sort of team. And it's also talking about the fact that project management is a career area with prospects. Um, it's just an opportunity when you sort of embark on that journey for you to intentionally add value and give your career a boost and enhance your skill sets. So you want to take this seriously. Um, you want to sort of give yourself that opportunity. And a lot of people have benefited from what we do. Um, and it's also this opportunity for you to increase your earning potential. There's just no need in the face of so much knowledge for you to still be in that mundane aspect, that mundane career, that rough you've been in. And you just have been wondering, how do I sort of get myself out of this situation? Is information is king, information is gold. And that's what we're trying to provide today. You can earn better, you can, uh, and your earning will be driven largely by a lot of factors. As you can see on the screen, is your sector, is your level you're applying at, is the country, is the, whether it's urban or rural, your qualification level, your certifications. And a lot of times the budgets are available to the organization in question. And then it's also the fact that with project management, we are saying um, it is industry agnostic. It is not specific to any industry or sector. Um, it will it will cut across quite across a wide range of industries. So it's financial, it's health sector, it's IT, it's construction, it's oil and gas. The key thing is the principle for project delivery is the same every time, anytime. And 
even though how they approach it may be different, but the principle is the same. The definition of project management remains the same regardless of sector. And one of the things I need to just sort of set clearly right now is the fact that is an is a competency area for driving change for organizations. And you want to key in very quickly. You want to sort of ensure you give yourself the opportunity to sort of be part of those starters in this modern era where tech has become uh, really important and we're talking AI, you want to just sort of join and make sure you sharpen your skill set and become very effective in the process. So your project management skills are needed. This is the big message. And you want to sharpen those, you want to develop and acquire that skill set um, to sort of improve your own uh, potential for attracting better in a job market that is quite competitive. And that is why we are here at Ostratech to support you. Now, this one, I'm not going to so talk about everything that you see, but the key thing I want to sort of emphasize and reinforce with this one is basically help you understand there are a range of opportunities in project management from low level roles, mid level support roles to what we call management roles. And as you get into management level, you even have senior roles. You start to up rise and have senior opportunities. As you have there, you have senior project managers, you have project directors and head of project management. We are not even talking program management yet, and there's nothing there around the project management office. So the opportunity to apply yourself is wide ranging. And yeah, and that's why we are here to sort of support you. And in the UK, salary, salary range will be anywhere from 25,000 to up, uh, six figure type opportunities in terms of salaries. But again, that would depend on your experience, uh, the organization you're working with, the sector, et cetera, et cetera. So you can sort of see what it sort of looks like across different countries in terms of opportunities that are available to us. Um, at this point, I want to sort of hand over to Buki, but just before I, uh, Buki takes it over to me, from me, I just want to say push, 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 Invite, 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 nudge somebody to sort of join. They need the information we're going to be sharing today. Over to you, Buki. Thank you very much, Adi. Um, as many have listening to us, I hope you have been interested in what we said so far. I hope we have been, uh, been able to get your interest in the project management sector. There's so much field and so much opportunities out there for you to get involved. For those of you who want to contact Ostratech on how to get involved with this, please send your contact details to the host alone because we are very specific about GDPR and want to ensure that your data is secured. Just send your contact details to the host at Ostratech on the chat section. Um, don't just send it to everyone, just send it to the host alone at, at Ostratech. So if you have that, we can get in touch with you and let you know what will be the next steps and how you can get involved in project management. Next on our agenda is to go through a couple of success stories just to let you know what those people have been able to achieve by joining Ostratech and just to let them say for themselves how they found the process and what they were able to achieve. So we'll first stop with this list of success stories we have. I'm going to be calling on Falasha Day. Falasha Day, do you want to come up and just introduce yourself to everyone and let us know what um, certifications you've taken with um, Ostratech? Hi everyone, um, good morning, wherever you are, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Falasha De Adefemi. Um, I am a PMO analyst. I had my project management and Prince to Foundation in 2021. Um, the process was quite straightforward. So I contacted Ostratech you know, via Instagram and they responded with the correct information. I think within 48 hours, they responded with the correct information I needed to kickstart the training, which was quite exciting because I was really keen. So we had this three days intensive training in September with so much hard work and motivation and encouragement. Um, the following month, which was October, I sat for my Prince 2 exam and I got a job in December, same year. So um, we Prince 2, I was able to secure a job, you know, and, you know, I was so excited about this because during, while I was looking for the job, um, Ostratel was so helpful with the CV preparation, you know, the one-to-one -one support because I was always calling and asking questions, you know, and, you know, the interview prep, it was really helpful. So I would recommend anyone, if you're willing and you're ready to have a change of career, Ostratech is ready to support you. They are ready to motivate you. And I re also remember during the training, we had a group 
you know, which was quite, you know, interesting as well, because I never knew I had some skills, but, you know, while engaging with people, I realized I was up to the task and I realized it was doable. So thank you once again to Ostrotech for making me believe in myself. Thank you. Thank you very much, Falashadi, for sharing your success story with us. Uh, we look forward to many more successes from yourself. Um, the next um, set of us, or set of people to give that um, success stories will be moving on to Kayode. Kayode, would you come on and just let us know what your success story is? Kayode, are you there? All right, good morning, good afternoon, or uh, good evening, wherever you are, all around the world. Uh, I joined Ostratech last year. I think that should be around February last year. Uh, before uh, I joined the Ostratech, I was working with uh, NHS as customer service advisor. Uh, but my friends uh, introduced me to Adi, and I joined uh, the Prince Two training. It, it was it was quite good. The training was good, and. Uh, I think uh, the following month, I wrote my exams to uh, pass the exam. Um, uh, I work right now with uh, uh, in a PMO office as project support officer in the public sector. I will, I will also encourage um, um, anybody that would like for a change of career, you want to uh, move on to maybe better pay or whatever it is you are looking for, uh, our strategy is this. this for me, the best place to be. Aside from the training that you, you get, uh, what I love most is the, the after service talk. Uh, they will be on your neck, I can say that. And much many uh, mentor you have will be on your neck until you get a good job. They're they suddenly going to be on your neck to get a, a very good job. I recommend, uh, I've recommended, and I continue to recommend as many that want to get in, into our project management. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Kadi. Um, Just to reiterate that if you want to send your details to us to let us contact you and let you know what the next steps would be, just send your number or send your Gmail address, whichever one you want to share with us, send it to the host. Um, so when you're sending your messages, just click on that send button. Don't send it to everyone, just send it to the host alone so that we're able to protect your details and protect your identity so that um, we'll move it up from there. And just to let you know, we're going to be having a Q&A session at the end of this program or towards the end of the program. So if you have any questions, anything you think that's um, bothering you or something you want to clarify about, you're not sure, but you just need some answer to it as part of what we have discussed this morning or what you think you want to do, um, just drop your questions in the chat session. Just send it to um, the chat and we'll pick it up when it comes to the Q&A session. So I'm going to take it up now and um, just let the next person go through his success story and then we'll take it up from there. Kennedy, do you wanna come up and just let us know what your success story of your tech is? Hi everyone, good day. Um, my name is Kennedy Ogudo. I'm a network engineer who recently relocated to the United Kingdom from Nigeria. I was referred to Ostratech by a friend since I was trying to increase my certification and knowledge opportunities. So I can tell you that joining Ostratech was a revelation for me. I not only received the Prince II certification, I also received a high level of mentorship and coaching, you know, while we carried out projects within the Ostratech training. Now, one of the perks of being with Ostratech is the opportunity of having experienced project managers, I can tell you that for free, who provide one-on-one -on -one mentorship in terms of the projects that you'll be delivering and executing. My current role, my current role entails that we constantly carry out projects, both small and big. And the experience that I gained from Ostratech has really raised the bar for me. So yeah, I would I would also recommend, I would always recommend Ostratech to my friends and everybody, anybody else who wants to listen. Because um, you would never regret being part of this fantastic team. If you join Ostratech, the tale that you will have will be the same as mine. Thank you. Book, if you're talking, you're on mute. Thank you. 
Boye. So thank you very much for Lashade, Ken, Kennedy and Kayade for sharing your success stories. We're very excited about your journey while you've joined Ostratech and what you've been able to achieve through joining Ostratech. I'm gonna hand back to the lead trainer in Ostratech, Adi, just to take us through the next steps, but just please remember, share your details with Ostratech host alone. If you want us to get in touch with you, if you have any questions, please drop them in the chat box. We'll answer those questions towards the end of the day and please continue to share this um, link with your friends so that they can join and be a particular of what Ostratech is doing and how we're helping people to get into the project management field. I'll hand over to you, Adi, now. Yeah, thanks again, Buki. Um, remar re remarkable and well run session so far. Um, well done, guys. Um, and thanks again, Kennedy. Thanks, um, Kay, as well as Fola Shade for uh, lovely success stories. Um, I'm just going to progress um, with just helping you understand how Ostratech supports you. Um, I think something that is really important to highlight here all of those three you just listened to are doing uh, great in their own career areas and have achieved successes from having been here. I think, Kennedy, you were quite mo modest. You were one of those high scorers in the, um, in the, uh, in the Prince 2 exam when you took it. Um, uh, host, can you ensure you just keep people muted, uh, please? Uh, let's sort of ensure that. Um, yeah, so so far so good. Um, I, I think I'm really quite thankful for the privilege, firstly, to have created with the team of mentors that we've got and our trainers a platform that is helping many people secure career starts in project management and also acquire certifications that have really better positioned them uh, to sort of uh, start um, careers in project management in different aspects. There are PMOs, there are project managers, there are senior project managers. Um, I work in IT myself. I still have a full-time contracting role that I work in, and I've been providing these services, this service to organization for nearly two decades. And I have people here from who from having uh, uh, started uh, with Ostratech that have really started blazing it in the career area. So you're going to hear more success stories, yes, but very I'm quickly. Fine. Not to bore you, I'm just going to kick it off with, I'm just talking about our strategy, who we are, our process, our model, our courses, et cetera. And I'm going to also uh, get you to listen to one of our trainers as well as we go. Uh, so just very quickly on who we are, um, Ostratech is the training uh, consultancy. Uh, we are at three plus years because we started just uh, mid-year during, mid -year during uh, mid-year mid 2020, just during that pandemic. And um, we found, uh, we've achieved quite a lot of successes with people who have sort of joined our, our courses. Uh, so we provide pretty much when we started out, we started out with what is on the left here, which is project management training. Um, and it's practical, it's hands-on. It's all bringing all of that experience as a lead trainer for Stratech to shape a cost model that allows people to benefit and really start out um, uh, careers. And all of that is also being cascaded even better with our team of mentors. And we also have certification trainers. So it's from having started with just project management hands on practical, we now are an accredited training organization uh, without a body called People Set who provide Prince Two uh, certifications as well as uh, People Set Scrum Master One as well as ITIL. A lot of these courses you get to know about as you sort of progress your project management career. And if you're in IT already, you can already tell the value of some of these courses. So it's project management hands on practical courses as well as education training courses led by a team of experienced instructors, mentors, coaches, including myself, to sort of support you and hold you. Our life projects are just remarkable and they will just sort of help you get proper practical experience for hitting a market that is quite competitive. We, you cannot also overemphasize the importance of certification in this process. This is why we have this double-edged approach, this double-edged sword approach that sort of allows you not just secure that project management training, but also acquire a certification. So our model is one that is flexible weekend type training, but it's also virtual instructor led. And we all we are able to provide bespoke services to organizations as required to train their people in certification aspects, as well as project management aspect. At this point, I want you guys to listen to someone I really hold dearly. He's quite dear to me. He sort of supports us with the training for uh, Prince 2. His name is Noble. Um, Noble 
Abu, do you want to come on and just introduce yourself? Talk to us about Prince Two. I always like to listen to you talk about Prince Two. You're muted, maybe. You're muted. Yeah. <clears throat> so thank you, Eddie, and thank you, Astrotech. So I've been on the panel of trainers with Astrotech for about three years now, and I've conducted more than about 12 Prince 2 courses for them. Now, Prince 2 is an amazing project management methodology. Why I say it's amazing is it is very simple to comprehend and understand. Unlike the other methodology, which is the PMP, where there are a lot of mathematics and a lot of complications, Prince 2 follows, teaches us to do what successful projects before us have done. So it's basically telling us to follow the methodology of successful projects. At every stage in Prince 2, it will tell us what successful project managers before us have done so that it tells us that to have a successful projects, we need to do this. It's a comparatively logical, common sense, and straightforward straightforward approach to project management. It consists of <clears throat> taking the project from our present location to our destination, from here and now to then and there. And it is this journey which is the project management. And Prince2 does that by having seven principles which we need to follow at all times. It also has seven themes which are like the ingredients. And finally, it has seven processes. These are step-by-step -step approach to lead to go on to our destination. So like I said, Prince2 is a very logical, very common sense approach to solving problems. Now, the beauty of Prince2 is that we can apply Prince2 to our daily lives, not just to project management, but in our daily lives for very small activities. I think Ade gave the example of renovating our kitchen. I would even say that if we have to go on a family vacation, you know, go on a holiday, you could do the planning based on Prince2. So if you apply Prince2 to, to these day-to-day -day problem solving, you'll realize that it becomes a habit with us. And when you apply to a real project, it will be that much easier. Now Prince2 has tremendous advantages, not just for the practitioners, but also to all the participants and to the organization. Now, it's so important that most, most of the leading professional companies insist on applying Prince2 to, to all the projects. So therefore, the people who are qualified on Prince2 are at a premium. So this is an opportunity which we all must avail to get ourselves qualified in Prince2 so that our value in this job market increases. And of course, after having done the course, the next step is to appear for the examination and get the certification. And once you do this, then we need to work on projects, maybe as understudy or whatever it is. The more projects that we work on, the more experience that we have, our value would increase. Now, I would say that there is a Prince2 manual 
2017, which is like a Bible to us, and we must read it from cover to cover. We must understand because all there is to know about Prince Two is given in those about 415 pages. Once we have done the foundation course and got the certification, then we need to start getting exposed. Another thing I would tell you is that on the YouTube, there are a number of amazing people who would tell us about certain aspects of Prince Two. So if you want to learn about risk management on a project, you type that. and there would be somebody who would possibly give you a half an hour or a 40 minutes lecture so it is very easy to understand prince two having once you become a practitioner of prince two and you're working on projects my next advice to you is become experts like you know there's a theme called change so you could do a 3 day course on change management or you could do a course on risk management or quality management so once you do any of these courses you could also work on a project because in the within a project every project would have a requirement in project support of change management of quality control you know so therefore the opportunities are endless and in management there are a lot of specializations which you could do as you go along and another course that i would strongly recommend is agile you know of course the scrum master is being conducted by uh by you know astrotech but that is the bulk of the agile course because in the it field they feel that a lot of problems could be solved by the agile technique so i think i've exceeded the time which adi gave me but i would say that please make use of this opportunity of the support because no other training institution i have been a trainer for a number of other institutions no other training institution gives you the kind of hand holding right from the beginning till the time that you get your certificate and even after doing that like they have got mentors all the other training institutions make you attend the course and then drop you like a hot potato you got to pass your exam on your own so make use of this and i would humbly request you to spread the word around to your friends who want to do get into this project management project management is a very respectable kind of a job right it's a very respectable kind of a job and both men and women both can work on this and it there are you know also tells teaches us leadership and projects really want leaders and uh, i am sure that anyone who does this you will benefit immensely in your life thank you yeah thank you nobu that was remarkable i always like to listen to nobu by the way you just you could, you could see the way i was just nodding away um is remarkable just to say he's even trained me before that's how i first met nobu um is a remarkable person respectable as well and very knowledgeable and he has a simplistic approach for to breaking down something that can be quite difficult to explain sometimes it just breaks it down and and that is just reflective of i think we just got attracted because our aim is always to simplify learning and that's is just thanking you again and thank you for also all the kind words to sell our strategic and our method you've been with us now two years and i and i know we've done a lot together in terms of helping people achieve success and there was nothing you said around that process that was done on the sell it's actually reflective of what we do and i'm just going to take it away to sort of talk about uh 
hands on uh, training process that sort of suggests that we pretty much um, adopt a virtual um, instructor led training approach is virtual. So I see a question there about someone who is traveling and uh, to Omar or somewhere Oman and then there is a need for them to take on the certification from wherever you are, you can take this certification. So if you reach out to me, I think it's Ashiru OO reach out to me um, via the contacts you've got here info at Ostratech um, or via WhatsApp, reach out to us there, we will respond to you. But the process that we sort of run is one that sort of ensures a lot of handholding and support, including mentoring, including opportunities to participate in life projects. See, please extend this to your friends, the people in your network, they need to hear this because they need to be in the right place that have got the best interest at heart. And I would just sort of say, this is what we've got in Ostratech where we have a model that is always there to support you and actually have you succeed in terms of your career uh, interest. And that's why you have these success stories coming through because they know what they benefited from this process. So is uh, instructor-led virtual training, uh, project management led by myself, Prince Two led by um, uh, Noble, uh, who is so re remarkable, by the way. And the other course is also led uh, by instructors you will meet. And some of it myself, Scrum Master, for example, and we're onboarding more trainers to support this whole process. Um, and it's life project and tools. You have exposure to project management tools like Microsoft Project. You will use tools like Jira. We have people here who will be working with you through in the team, we will work with you to sort of really scale things up and make it possible for you to acquire that skill. The CV development is included in any price or anything that we do. We support you from that standpoint and even prepare you for interviews ourselves. And listen, this is not just sweet talking, it's what we do. And that's why you can see people are glad to come back and talk about what they have benefited from this support, uh, process. I could almost say our support to people is second to none. I, I can't see any other team anywhere that would do it exactly the way we do it. We will support you, we'll look after you, we unhold you almost and make sure we see you through to that place where the job is secured. So it's mentoring and ongoing support also. And this is at no additional cost if you sort of understand our pricing model. So uh, the whole process should take anywhere from four to eight weeks and it's up to eight weeks driven by the nature of the project you participate in. There are gonna be different kinds of projects that we have and some projects will be short, uh, short time scale or short duration, but some other ones will be long duration, longer duration. And that's what drives the length of the training. By the end of it, you should have a CV in your hands that allows you to start to look for work. And then basically we're saying why you must join us is, in the market, why you must start this change journey now and join Ostratech now. There are increasing levels of opportunities in the market is the reason why people are getting jobs. We have experienced trainers. Um, I mean, it's two almost two decades of experience for myself. And you can sort of also tell in terms of Noble with over Prince 2, over 100 plus Prince 2 courses taken, it's all of those you benefit from experience, experience, and that track record from having led a lot of success. and. Um, today you're going to uh, sort of benefit from a 10% discount if you sign up um, to any of our courses. So if you stay on the call, you get to hear about it. Um, so currently, these are the prices that we sort of run uh, for our courses. All our prices, just to say very quickly, include the training and exam fees for all certifications. So it's not just, oh, 643 for training. No, if we said 643, for example, for ITIL, it includes your exam fees. And imagine that those prices also include VAT. So it's, um, it's narrow margins and it's just really working with you to sort of ensure you achieve success. So Scrum Master, which is a course I would recommend for anyone in project management is at 625 and then ITIL Foundation, which is basically a course that caters for ensuring you understand better how organizations deliver digital products and services, how they sort of collaborate using consistent lingo, IT lingo and tech language, which you can sort of really start to familiarize with. And he also talks about the concept of service value systems and how they are used uh, for deliver, delivering digital transformations. A lot of this you will learn on the course. We've exhausted everything around Prince2 Foundation and Practitioner. These are 
courses that you need. Certification is key. If you're going to be in project management and you want to have bragging rights, you want to command respect in the market, don't just go there and say you have experience. Okay, you have experience, but the people who come from Ostratec have certifications, okay, plus experience. So you should change yourself, you see. So what you want to do basically is try to ensure you acquire certifications to you, improve your skill sets, improve your worth in the market, your value in the market by really making sure you enhance uh, your profile. And then the next project management course which, um, is going to be in September. We only train this course six times a year. Uh, so currently the current students are on and they are taking their Prince 2 Foundation uh, course today. Uh, but the reality is that if you want to join our next project management class, it's going to start to this schedule that you see there. And there will also be um, there will also be Prince 2 Foundation to follow it as long as it's something that you sign up for. So it's 16th, 17th, and 23rd for the project management training. Then you have your life project, et cetera, et cetera. So today, if you want to sign up for any of these courses, you benefit from a 10% discount. All you need to do is ensure you deposit £100 within this week. So this offer closes by 31st of July. The, the deposit £100 to lock yourself in. The only thing is that £100 is non-refundable, but it's towards this full fee, the full fee for any course that you want to sign up for. Sign up for. Lock yourself in. We will work with you to schedule you in and ensure you maximize the benefits of attending the course with Ostratech. And it's something you'll be glad you did. Um, quote this promo code APT001. Call us now, drop us a message on WhatsApp or direct to Ostratech host on this chat to say, I want to sign up. I want to make a payment of 100 pounds today to sort of lock myself in for this course, whether it's Chrome Master, ITO Foundation, Prince2, any of the courses there, depending on where you are in your journey or is the project management practical hands on, you will get a 10% discount if you sign up with, a, with that 100% deposit uh, towards the full fee. And we work with, and all you just need to have done is make sure you balance the full fee before you start the course and we'll work with you to sort of ensure the journey starts so we have bundle offers with this i'm not going to talk about them in detail you can just look on the screen very quickly where we are sort of saying we have combined courses mod, uh, modules that have been merged to sort of offer you discounts to different degrees um, if you choose to sign up for these these are the discounts you get on them you can see the prices now but you see your discounted um, pricing um, if you sort of take um, any of these courses something that um, is not on the screen right now is if you add ITIL to any of these courses ITIL v4 foundation you'll get a 20 percent discount so you can take a screenshot of it Take a screenshot of it and just reach out to us uh, to let us know what you would like to do with Ostratech. And the aim would be uh, to support you as you take on uh, that journey. And these are the schedule of courses as we have. You can take a screenshot to just sort of help you understand what that schedule looks like uh, up till the end of the year. Like I said, the project management course, we only run six times a year. And the next sort of, uh, we only have two more sessions before the end of the year. So you, which are the ones there, the September and the November, but these are the schedules for all the other courses. The Scrum Master one becomes really critical for you as a project management professional because organizations today are going the Scrum Master way. So if you already have Prince 2, you want to sort of embark on this journey and sure you have the agile uh, certification and scrum master is the more popular one the organizations are adopting today noble also talked about this and he said it for a reason because it's beneficial for your career as you grow um and at this point it's just handing over to boboye who is going to take us through the next uh piece of conversation thank you very much Ade, and um thanks everyone for joining us if you're just joining Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Um, I'm going to quickly talk us through what our mentoring process and support system is within Ostratech. Introduce yourself. You are the lead, lead mentor for Ostratech. Let, don't be modest about it. And <laughs> let us know what you do. We need to know so that it sort of helps them appreciate. Um, and also the fact that you've also been through this process. Um, and yeah, it's also you. just good for people to know. Okay, so um, my name is Boboy. I'm a senior project manager with a utility company here in Manchester. 
And um, like every other person who has come on to give their success story, I've also been part of this process. Um, started off with the project management training and went through the process like every other person and got that exceptional support that helped me get to where I am today. And um, as much as Adi said, I'm the lead uh, mentor for Stratec, um, I also get mentored by him as well. And um, it's it's a wonderful family, I would say. It's for, for us, Stratec is not just about trying to get people to get trained and um, that's the end of it. We were more concerned about your success as an individual as opposed to what we make from um, getting you into the system. Because like I had said earlier, our margins are very, very thin. But it's more or less the joy we get from seeing people who come in through this process being able to achieve what they set out to achieve for themselves. And um, the joy that we're able to support people realize their dreams, that's that's what is in it for us mostly. Um, so I'll talk us through what our mentoring process is. Um, Ade, please, can you just... So once you're done with the training, um, the next phase is your scenario-based projects. Now, for our scenario base or for, for our projects, we use both real projects within our strategic and um, scenario based projects to sort of give our trainees um, an experience of what a project feels like, what the project environment feels like, how to collaborate with um, fellow, fellow trainees, you know, because for any project or any project management personnel to be successful in what they do. Um, they must understand the value of collaboration and um, within project environments, if you don't collaborate, then your project is most likely going to fail. Collaboration is key. And that is why we sort of use the scenario-based projects to teach people how to collaborate. We teach them what is expected, what they will find on the job. And in all honesty, um, whatever we do in Ostratech is not far from what you will get if you go into a real life project environment that you get paid for. But we sort of use some of our projects that we have in-house to give trainees that first-hand experience of what project management feels like. And um, once they are done with their training, we divide the students into groups. We have mentors assigned to the students who will walk them through that project delivery that has been assigned to them. So you have a mentor where they go into their kickoff meeting with that mentor. The mentor breaks down the requirements of that project, what is expected of them to deliver, and sort of handholds them through that delivery process. And um, they have access to that mentor 247 to get in touch, to ask questions if they want to get clarification on anything as regards to that delivery. And once we're done with that, the next bit of it is the CV preparations. Now we help our trainees as well make a tailored CV to suit that particular industry they are looking to go into. And um, having the right CV is key because that is the first hurdle for you in terms of looking for jobs. You need to pass that CV, CV test by recruiters before you're even getting calls from recruiters to say, okay, um, I found your CV online or you applied for a job. If that CV doesn't suit their requirements or if that CV doesn't look professional or standard enough, then um, you're not going anywhere. So we sort of make tailored CVs for all of our trainees. Now we have interview preparations we, we do with our trainees as well. We sort of have, uh, we have the, individual interview preps where if you get invited for an interview we use the job description to prepare you for that interview um we it's a one-on-one -on -one session with yourself and any of the mentors or even adi where you go through that job description that has been sent to you by the recruiter or the hiring company and we sort of break down what is expected of you in that interview 
And that has made a lot of difference for a whole lot of people here, because sometimes that might be the difference between them securing the role. And aside the individual interview preps, as part of our process, we sort of look inwards to see how we can improve things from time to time. And one of the recent ones we've sort of um, brought on board is to have general interview preparations for all those who have just recently been through the process and are still looking for the jobs, just sort of to keep them on their toes, to keep them ready so that when they are able to secure that next role, um, that next interview rather, they are prepared for it. And um, aside that, once that job is secured, we don't just stop there. We help and support your onboarding process within that role, whereby we support you through whatever it is you want. You have access to the mentors. You can come to say, oh, I've got this delivery at work and I'm finding it difficult understanding how I need to approach it. The thing is you've got access to a lot of, a lot of experience, combined experience, and I don't think there's any project you want to deliver that one of the mentors has not been involved in, in their own professional life. So you have that experience to tap from, and that, is, that, that makes a lot of difference for a lot of our trainees as well. Um, for those who are still in the job market and looking for the next role, we don't just train people and leave them to their devices to say, okay, well, you've been trained, we've prepared a CV for you, um, off you go, go sort yourself out. Um, as part of our continuous improvement process, we've also introduced a, a drop-in session whereby we have a bi-weekly follow-up session with our, our trainees to say, okay, what have you been doing? How have you been progressing in your job search? And trying to understand what they've been doing that they could do better. Um, this, personally, I think it's something that will help a lot of people because sometimes it's not just about sending your CVs to recruiters because what I've, from my own personal journey, and I'm sure everyone who, who, who has been in that process one way or the other would also tell you that sometimes recruiters could be lazy if they put up a job and they get probably say 200 applications for that single job, most recruiters would not take the time to go through the 200 CVs that they've received, except you call them and draw your att their attention to your CV. If they come across maybe five or six CVs that they feel has what they are looking for, that's the end. They just send those CVs to the hiring manager and if you're even more qualified for the job than those CVs they've sent, if you don't get in touch with them, try to put yourself out there. It's not just about calling, um, sorry, applying for the jobs, but also calling recruiters to say, oh, hi, I applied for a job, give them the job reference number. And sometimes that is when they even go through your CV. It's happened to me countless times. And um, we sort of want to be able to push our students to go above and beyond to help them get their, their jobs. So um, this is the kind of support we provide here at Ostratech. And um, as time goes on, we hope that we'll even do beyond what we're doing now. So that's what our mentoring and support process is all about. Um, just before I go to the next stage, um, if you're just joining us, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm hoping that for those of us who have been here, it's it's been valuable to us. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the group chat. We'll come to a Q&A um, session in a few minutes and um, we'll take all of your questions, as many as you can throw at us, we'll, we'll be here to answer them. Um, I want to just call on a few persons to sort of share their success stories as well, who have been through the process with Ostratech, they've been part of the system and um, they also have stories to tell us. So the first person I want to call is Wando. Wando, are you on? Yes, I am. Hi, everyone. Okay. So quickly, just tell us, 
what you were doing before you came into Austratech, what that um, training and support process was like for you and what you're currently doing? Okay, so I was a test analyst before I joined um, Austratech and I am now a project manager at a manufacturing company in Europe as well. So um, I did my training middle of last, about April, March, April last year. And then after that, we had the scenario project. I also did my prints too around the same period. So it was um, training first two weekends and then prints two the weekend after that. And then we had the scenario based project. And then I did my prints two exam and started applying for jobs. I needed to take a bit of time between my training and when I started applying for jobs, but I got a job within a couple of months as well. Um, the training in itself was really good, very informative, as was the Prince 2 training as well. But I think what was really the icing on the cake for me was the scenario-based project, because it really gave me the opportunity to work with other people and pretty much mirror the actual office and project environment because you're getting to work with different personalities. You're seeing how people respond to things, how people act in certain situations and stuff like that. And it was also really useful when I started applying for interviews or when I started going for the interviews rather because it gave me the opportunity to not just give like textbook examples or scenarios, but these were things I had actually lived through from working on that project and a few other things I've done in my previous role as well. So I think that really for me and also the support I got from the mentors as well during the process, because it wasn't just, um, I mean, when we're doing the scenario project, that was absolutely great because you could reach out to them at any time. We were assigned a mentor in our group and it was also really accessible. So we could literally reach out and say, oh, I need to put with this. I don't really get this. Is this in the right track and stuff like that? And it was really good. But also when I was then applying for jobs and um, I needed to modify my CV and stuff like that, I could reach out and say, OK, I'm not really sure. I'm not getting a lot of responses. I've sent so many out. Can we modify again? Can we maybe look at this or that? And um, I got that support to be able to change one or two things. And yeah, it was a really good experience and I would recommend it over and over again. Okay, thank you very much, Wando. Um, next on the list is Sukomi. Sukomi, please, could you just come on briefly and let us understand your interaction with Ostratech as well. Um, tell us your name, what you do, and what service did you get from Ostratech and how did you find that service? Yeah, thank you very much, Boboye. Thank you, everyone. Um, I came into UK January and Ostratech and Ade, they are the first point of contact for me. So I was into media in Nigeria. So when I met Ade, Ade told me about project management. He told me about the potential opportunities, a lot of things. So I decided to onboard with him. When I onboarded with Austrotech in January, I did the project management training. It was very, very helpful. It exposed me to a lot of things. And of course, like Wando mentioned, I did the, the live, project, uh, live project with the team, wonderful people. So I was able to learn a lot of things. I was able to interact with uh, Buki, who was my mentor. So while all that was going on, I knew that, okay, I'm on the right path. By February, I prepared for my Prince 2 foundation certification exam, which I passed. I got a job. Um, I work on a, on a project as a finance analyst with the University of Edinburgh currently. And uh, while on the job, I was like, you are not going to stay up there. You need to keep going. So he told me, start reading for... Prince to practitioner. So with Noble, with Ade, I started preparation. In June, I wrote the exam. I passed the exam also. So Ade was like, okay, excellent. Now you have your foundation. You have your practitioner. You still need to move forward. You know, there's ITIL, there's Chrome. So what I'll say is this. Ade hold kind of, it hold, he holds your hand and guide you through the process. You know, he makes sure that you get all the things that you need to get in area of questioning in area of CV, in area of leadership, in area of motivation, 
in area of assuring you, it gives you self-assurance, you know, so you get information, you get the confidence that is required. And on the job, I didn't know my line manager probably as much as myself. It's always, why is the work going? What did he say? What is this? You know, there are some projects they gave me in the in the team that, okay, be the team lead for this project. So I do, how is that going? How are you going to approach it? What are you going to do next? So um, it's been a beautiful experience for me personally. Thank you. Uh, thanks to Noble. Thanks to you, Boboye. Thanks to AB. Thanks to Buki. Thanks to a lot of fantastic guys in this team. Now I have my fund, Prince2 Foundation, Prince2 Practitioner. I'm practicing and I'm still going forward. But like Adi said, this is not, you're just starting. The headroom is very large. So there's so much to do. But so far, so good. I'm grateful for the opportunity. And uh, I will encourage anyone that wants to switch into project management to follow Ostratech. You know, they will teach you, they will give you the right values, the right mindset, the right orientation, the right information. And they are always there to support you. So that is, um, that is what my experience has been. And that is what I've been able to achieve so far. Thank you, very um, boy. Thank you very much, Sukomi. Um, nice listening to you. And um, something I just wanted to point out, you know, with Ade and with everyone here at Ostratech, we don't just want to settle for less. So even when our students or our trainees get jobs, we sort of let them find their feet, get used to what they're supposed to do. And once we we understand and we see that, okay, this level you are at, um, you've had enough here, it's time for you to push to the next level. We sort of encourage people to do that. Um, for me personally, it's not just about the fact that I'm part of this process. That's why I'm making a lot of emphasis on the supports we provide for these four trainees. But because I've been through this process myself and I know the value I got from this process and I still get from this process, I might be the lead mentor for Strategic today, but I know the value I still get from this process because um, for me, it's more or less like you can't give what you don't have. So me supporting trainees, me mentoring students also helps me keep myself sharp and focused at all times so that I'm able to add value to them. And I know the level of support we give to our trainees. Um, personal, personally, when I started off my career within the project space, um, I got a job and um, I started that job because of the level of training, the level of support and the level of or the wealth of knowledge I could draw from the system. When I started that job, um, I got handed a project that had had issues for over a year. And at that point, my program manager said to me, oh, we're having a lot of issues with this project. It was a wide project, a major and acquisition project. And um, for those of us who work within the project space, you will understand how difficult mergers and acquisitions can be sometimes. It was, an m and project and they had been on it for well over a year and having issues. And she said to me, oh, um, can you come up with recommendations on how we can resolve some of the issues we're having? Um, I did some thinking, put a few things together and I gave Adi a call to say, Adi, this is what I'm doing and um, this is what I want to recommend. Do you think it's okay? Adi looked at it and said, oh yes, that's nice. Um, push it through and let's hear what they say. I gave those recommendations, they were accepted. Um, long and short, that job, my probation was supposed to be six months for my probation, but within two months, I got promoted. I was still on promo um, probation while I got promoted. And that is because of the level of support, the level of, um, training I had received, the level of support I had access to. So it's not the same. We, we all, we're all a family here and we try to challenge ourselves to, to do better. If you get a job today and you're earning good, it's beyond that pay, you can achieve more. And we try to push our students to go for more. 
So even when students train with us and some people get cold feet at the end of the day after their training to say, oh, I don't want to, um, I don't think I want to apply for a job anymore. We sort of try to push as much as we can. Um, lastly, let me call on Tommy to share with us her experience with Ostrotech as well. Tommy, are you there? Yeah. Um... Good. Sorry, there's a bit of noise yeah. at the background. I'm looking for somewhere quiet. Yeah, so, yeah. okay. So, um, um, tell us about yourself. My name yourself. is Tommy Olarewaju, and um, I, I, one thing I would like to say to start this is anyone that is looking to, you know, partner, seek really, um, support from Austria Tech has come to the right place. Why would I say that? Um, I'm someone that was... In a, um, well, I'd already done my Prince 2 um, project management course and I actually tried to do it with um, some other companies. But then all they just did was support you to get your exam done and then that was it. But when I came in contact with Adi Tree Referral, the story was different. Everything changed. First of all, the kind of support I got from Ostratic was unbelievable. From the very beginning, the way it so the confidence, it was underrated because as I began to attend the classes, I got my CV reviewed, I got um, support with my interviews. It was unbelievable, the kind of support that you get here. I think everybody underestimates or understates it in their, um, in their own testimonials because for me, I think that's like the unique selling um, proposition here. They're not just giving you the support you need to change your career to become a project manager or anyone or, or a, probably a professional in that field, but they actually really hold your hand through it all. You get support from collaborating with other team members and mentors who are there to support you so that you can really put, you know, in context what you're learning in theory. And for me, that is just fantastic. Sorry, I'm not really speaking in line with the, <laughs> with the um, No, that's outline, fine, go but, ahead. I just have to come out, you know, and say that because, I mean, Austria Tech is doing a fantastic job. Um, and for me, even though I was going into um, Project Mindmap, which was something was quite different from what I was doing before, the confidence that I got from the practical sessions, the, the you know, hands-on training also helped to put things in context and even helped with interviews because when you are trying to describe how to do a particular thing as a project manager. You have it, you know, like at the back of your hand, you have like a playbook. Um, I'll recommend Ostratech to anyone that is trying to change their career into the project management field, into the IT field, because they are the right people for this job. And I know what I'm saying, because we need a lot of handholding, especially when you're coming into this environment where you have no work experience. And you really need some some kind of um, platform with which you can use to enter into the environment. This is the place for you. Right now, I work with a fintech uh, in payment services industry. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I think we've 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 said a lot about what we do. Um, we've also talked about what you will get from project management and how good the field is. Um, for those of us who are still thinking, this is this the right step for me to take? Is this um, the sort of career I should be going into? Um, if you have questions, if you have any doubts, please feel free to reach us at any point in time. Our contact details are there on the screen. If you look at the bottom of this page now, you've got um, our telephone number, our WhatsApp number, you've got our Instagram, Facebook handles. Reach out if you're unsure of what you want. Um, just reach out, ask as much questions. We've got a Q&A session in a few minutes. Um, uh, I, I think we're going to have to pass on that. We've overrun on time uh, just to sort of say we plan to sort of complete this at 12. Um, so yeah. let's try and just sort of let people go so we don't keep them for too long. I think it's first thing um, before we sort of um, I think I will leave it to you, Boboye, and um, yeah. book it to close. Uh, I just was going to say 
Um, if you have any questions, understand that there's a discount on offer for all the courses. It's 10% and you need to lock yourself in with 100% deposit. Uh, the code to use is APT001. Use that, call in, you have a week up till ending 31st of July to sort of sign up on whatever course you want to progress with us. And we'll be happy to have you on our program. Um, you've heard a lot of the success stories and that should help. The other thing I was going to say is in the chat, there's a link to all our social media handles. Um, subscribe on YouTube to access our videos, follow us on Instagram, do it now. They're all on, 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 the, on chat now, do it right away so that you can always have access to uh, current information on all our products, services, and any discounts that we have on offer so you benefit and take advantage. Um, so over to you, Boboye and Buti. All right. Um, so, Buki, I'll hand over to you. Um, Adi, I know you, we, we, we're supposed to finish this at 12, but I just want to give room for one or two questions. Okay, let's uh, do that quickly. Um, yes, yeah, so, um, Buki, over to you on that, please. All right, thank you, Baboye. Thank you, Adi. Thank you all for joining. For as many of us um, that are still here with us, I'm sure you will hear what um, the success stories are and how you can reach us. Um, the only question on the chat was around um, someone who was trying to traveling to Oman. I think Adi, you've already answered that, but if there's any other questions that you want us to answer, if you want to do that now, just drop it on the chat, or if you just want to un unmute yourself and ask a question. Uh, we'll just give a few minutes for that because we know we've um, overrun already. But thank you so much for all your time this morning. We really appreciate you joining the program. And we look forward to contacting you. For those who have dropped their contact details, someone will be in touch with you. We'll contact you as soon as possible to get you started on the journey and hear what you want to uh, do with Ostratech. So um, any questions from anyone, uh, please drop it on the chat. Or if you just want to unmute yourself and ask a question, just... Okay, I've got a hand up. Um, Mildred, do you Let want the to person ask a question? just drop it in chat and we'll just sort of talk, we'll address it. If you can type it out, it will be good. Um, or you sort of just talk very quickly, just say it quickly, yeah. and look to address it. I think Mildred has got her hand up. Um, okay, go for it, Mildred. Mildred. Just go for it. Can we sort of. Uh, um, hello, hello, everyone. So I just wanted to ask real quick um, with this um, project management job, do we get um, jobs that have sponsorship? Told me that just gave uh, a story has got sponsorship with her job. Uh, she got that sponsorship. Uh, the role she started was April, and it took a process of getting certain the sponsorship for her as well as onboarding her. So she only just formally started, I think, near the end of July. Um, so it's possible, uh, but I we have to be very honest. We don't you don't control that what organizations do. Someone else got sponsorship who is also in fintech in December. Her name is Bumi. Um, so it's possible, at least we've seen two from our process. Um, it's just going to be about um, what organizations have the appetite to progress and if they have the license to sort of offer it. But it's the key thing is, yes, you can, but I, I, I won't sort of just want to uh, put all my eggs in that being the route I want to go for ensuring, you sort of see what I mean. Mildred, I hope that answers your yes, question. Yes, yes, I do, I do. Yeah, that's my question. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Mildred, for that question. Um, does anyone have any other question? We'll just take one more, um, just so we don't keep everyone waiting. Can you do okay, that? Quickly? I've got a question here. I've got okay. a question here. So it says, I'd like to ask if an administrative manager is seeking career trajectory, can they double into the certifications, especially with that experience? If yes, which precisely? No, the, the first place I'll point to is, I think we've already established that project management leverages reusable skills. And that's the first thing you need to know. If you're an administrator already, that's an advantage. In fact, I could almost argue that let's say about 30% of the work you do in project management is administrative. So that's an advantage you already got. If you need to get certification where you currently do not have any, the first place I'll point to is Princeton Foundation. Is the basic, the starter, traditional method that you must adopt for project delivery. You can then layer other certifications on top of it. 
and it will really position you nicely. But if you do not have experience, I'll also say sign up to our project management practical hands-on course where you just sort of have exposure to live project delivery, mentorship, coaching, and support for the likes of myself, Boboye Buki, who has not said she's also a mentor. She's a remarkable <laughs> mentor, simplistic approach to mentoring. Um, we have a lot of them. There is Anne, there is another Buki, and there is also Kemi. We have five mentors in this process who understand what we do very well, and it's not gimmick, gimmickry. We are talking about factual things around how we work with people and support them. So if you are really interested, what I would say is reach out to us and the administrative manager, um, and we'll look to support you, guide you properly on the course options you should, you should progress to start a career in project management. I think with those questions, it's a good place to sort of bring uh, the meeting to a close. Buki, I leave you to you to close the meeting. And the key thing is, guys, take advantage of the discount. Join us on social media. Um, and if you want us to contact you, share your details direct with me as Ostratech host, and we'll take it, we'll reach out to you as quickly as possible. Thank you, Adi. So Adi, thank um, you for your time. I really appreciate it. It's been good to be part of your day. Thank you very much, Adi. And thank you for all who have joined us. We're very excited that you could join us and listen to the information that we're going to provide today. We hope that will be part of your success journeys as you join us on Ostratech journey. And we're looking forward to you contacting us and those who have dropped their contact details will get in touch with you as soon as possible, reach out to you, get to hear what your um, interest is, which area you wanna go and be able to advise you on the right place to go. Thank you very much. I'll close the meeting now. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and look forward to be part of your success stories. Have a great day all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you all for joining. Bye. Yeah, thank you. See you again soon on one of our courses. Thank you. And thanks for the questions, Mildred, and the other one we picked up. Good questions. Bye. Bye, all. Bye. Thank you all. Bye. 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 Thank you.